Sup, Jules, Jules TV. Um, I just got out the Wale concert at the Key Club in Hollywood. Um, it was pretty good. That was up to Wale. Uh, it was it was pretty good. It was it was fifteen dollars. It's pretty good for a fifteen dollars show. Saw three acts: um, You and I, Blue and Exile, and uh, Wale. <coughs> Special guest appearances by that nigga Evidence from Dilated Peoples. What's up to that dude, Evidence? That's cool ass dude. I listened to him for a minute. His shit is his shit is clean. Um, exhibit was in the house. X to the Z, yeah. X to the Exhibit. And Warren to the G was in the house. Warren G, legend, West Coast legend was in the house. Bishop Lamont was in the house. Bishop Lamont came out, got on stage. <sighs> Am I missing anybody? I don't think I'm missing anybody. I took pictures and I took video on my phone. <clears throat> I don't think I'm missing anybody. Yeah, Warren G, Bishop Lamont, Wale. Evidence. When Ward G came out, that boy got the, the biggest ovation on earth. But, um, yeah, so. For the concert, I got there at 6 o'clock. The doors were supposed to open at 7. The doors didn't open until 8 o'clock. So I was standing outside on fucking Sunset Boulevard. Looking at all these weird ass people for two hours. And this dude behind me in the line would not shut up. Like. Don't you hate it when people around you, like you in a public place, <clears throat> you're in a public place and people just want to talk so everyone can hear the conversation. Like I knew that the dude behind me, I knew that the dude behind me liked Wolverine shirts, that he was 16 years old, that he went to Santa Monica High School and do something else. <clears throat> and that he just talked hella fucking loud. It was just... <laughs> I ain't, I ain't gonna get into that. If you wanna, if you wanna know what I'm laughing about, just message me or some shit. But um, uh, yeah, fucking loud ass talker. Like, shut up. Like, your dude is right next to you. Why do I have to hear you? And um, so yeah, I get in there, I get into the venue, get into the key club, and um, walked over to the bar, and they didn't have any Smirnoff ice. And um. I was upset about that. Very upset. But, um, yeah. Got to the stage. I was like two feet away from the stage. Uh, you and I did a hell of a job. I don't know who they are really. But, um, I'm gonna look forward to listening to some of their music in the future. Blue and Exile. Shout out to DJ Exile. That dude is so ill. He got beats. He can make beats. I know he can. If he doesn't, I know he can. But he was on a little drum pattern, little shit. Shit was ill. Shit was ill. Ill. <clears throat> Blue did his thing. He seemed kind of familiar. I don't know if I've seen him before, but he looked kind of familiar. And um, once they got off, once Blue and Exile got off, um, that was like at 10:20. DJ starts playing music in between sets. You know, 10.30 goes by, 10.45 goes by, 11 o'clock goes by. People start getting a little, little, uh, little tense, a little, there's a little tension in the crowd. Um, where's Wale? 11.15, no Wale. 11.30, this nigga finally comes out, dog. Wait for an hour for this nigga to come out. But, I don't know, for whatever reason, might not have been his fault or, you know, crew's fault or sound technical difficulties or some shit like that, but he did his thing, Wale. That's, to me right now, is the most talented rapper in the U.S. of A. right now. If you don't know who he is, type in W... A L E Wale on YouTube or something. Google him. Google him or something. Or something. 
dude from Washington DC is like the illest right now. Um, he performed these two new songs, performed some old shit, his mixtape shit. And um, during one of his sets, he looked right at me and pointed at me. I was sitting, like, I'm the tallest dude in the crowd, so it's kind of hard not to see me. I had this big-ass East Coast jer uh, shirt on and shit. And um, he looked straight at me and pointed at me and everything. I was like, hey, he made eye contact with me and everything. But the new two, two new songs he got out, he said it's coming off of his album. Them shits is hot. Them shits is hot, 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 steaming, hot, hot, like, Boiling like volcanic, like <clears throat> hot, like 360 red rings hot, motherboard hot. So, can't wait for them motherfuckers to leak. <clears throat> anyway, um, after his set, he jumped off the stage and he started you know, shaking people's hands, came up to me. Shook my hand, gave me a big man hug, you feel me? That, you know, what's up with you, boy? Oh, I'm just chilling, you know, man. I know you Wale and everything, but I'm Jules, you feel me? I'm like the equivalent of you out there to, no, nah, I'm just playing. But, um, that dude is so ill, though. Like, he's, he's just really down to earth. He's a funny dude. He's cracking jokes and shit. Nobody understood what he was talking about, but I did. Because there was, I don't know, I don't understand, like, people came, like, Wale was, like, the main event, but, I don't know, like, people make it seem like, you know, he he wasn't putting it down, but Wale did his thing. I don't know, maybe because the other guys were local or something, but, and they had more local fans or some shit, but, um... I don't know, he it didn't seem like he got as much of, his, of an applause as what he should have gotten. I don't know if he noticed that, but um, I don't know. If whatever whatever the crowd thought of him, I don't know. It it didn't seem like that everyone in there was Wale fans. And because um, I seemed like I was the only nigga in the crowd who knew all of his songs. Like, if somebody is the main bill. You'd expect the majority of the people in the concert to see the guy who's headlining. So, whatever. Wale's that nigga. I know he's that nigga. He knows he's that nigga. So, he's headlining. So, who gives a, a damn what the crowd thinks? Tickets sold out. Whatever. He did his job. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't like his hype, man. Little ass hype man dude. I don't know, he was cool, but I think you can get a better hype man. That's my little review of Wale's concert at the Key Club in Hollywood. You dig? I don't even know why I felt like I wanted to make this little video. I'm not even like much of a blogger or something, but I don't even have that many subscribers, but I don't care. I just want, felt like I wanted to speak out and say I, I touched Wale's hand. And he hugged me and he embraced me. 